We're now on the salon floor here at the Academy of Style, and joining me now from Portier and High School is Deshai Anderson. Deshai, welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, tell us a little bit what you're going to be doing, and, and who are you uh, having in the chair here this week? Well, morning? this is Liz, and she's from Port Huron High School, and so am I. And I'm just doing a updo. Okay. Explain a little bit what you mean by an updo, and what are you going to be doing? Uh, updo is something that you'll get for like homecoming or prom, something fancy. Okay, and basically is bringing the hair up to yeah. the top. <laughs> okay. This bobby pin it in with a little curl. Okay, good. So how long would something like this normally take? For me, it won't take that long. It depends what the client wants. Oh, okay. And that so, and now all the curl. Now she naturally curly, or the you curl? No, these I curl it with the curling iron. Okay. Is there a specific, uh, specific type of curling iron you need to use, or nope. pretty much just a general? Anything that will curl the hair. Okay, that's good. Just wind it up and let it go. There you go, great. Now what about hairspray? Do you have to use different kinds of hairspray or for this particular one are you going to just use all bobby well, pins? Well, usually or? when you do an updo, you'll do it on dirty hair so it'll stay better. Oh, okay. And then the hairspray is to hold like the curl mm -hmm. for if you need it. And then really you can use any type of hairspray that will hold your hair. Oh, okay. It depends on the type of hair you have. Okay, so are there different types of hairspray then? Yeah, it depends what type of volume your hair is. Okay, so hairspray just isn't hairspray. I mean, it's right. something really special, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, you said you have dirty hair, so this is not one of those where you have to wash the hair ahead of time and then you know, yeah. do all that kind of prep work, right? Nope. Just start curling and put it up. Okay. Now, what? I noticed you were doing something with the comb. What were you yeah. doing with that? Just teasing it a little bit to give it a little volume. Ah, okay. That's good. Yeah. Now, is there moisture in the curling iron, or is that nope. moisture coming out of her hair? Out of her hair. Okay, wow, I never knew that. Uh, I knew hair had moisture in it, but I didn't yeah. know you'd, her hair you would is, see it steam that much. Her hair is just like that. It's just shiny. Okay, great. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit. Uh, you, you're a senior in the program, so this yes. is your second year. What, what made you want to come into this program? Um, actually, I wanted to be in here since I was little. I always talked about doing people's hair. So then once... My sophomore year came and I heard that they had like a cosmetology program. I wanted to get in and then my counselor was just like, you got in and I was all excited and everything. Oh, so. Great. And this is something you want to do for a living yes. once you graduate? I go and get my state boards and try to be in a salon. Good, good for you. Now I know you t were telling me before you're also a cheerleader. Now do you yes. get to, uh, for the team when you get ready for the competitive cheers there for the Portier and High School girls, do you get to do the hairstyles for yeah. them and all that too? Yeah, do so. all the little braids and then red at the top to put the ponytails in and put the bows in and all that. Great. Of all the things that you learn here in the cosmetology program, what's the favorite thing you like to do? My favorite is doing updos because you can do whatever comes to mind. Mm -hmm. It don't have to... Sometimes ugly updos can be the cutest updos. Okay. And that's kind of a little bit of the artistry in you? Yeah. Yeah, that's Just cool. Just create something new each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you ever really done any two updos the same? Mm. It depends. Like when clients come in, if they have like the same updo, then I'll just give them to them because sometimes like we have like weddings and stuff come in and they want the same. So oh, sure. In that case, you'll do the same one, but really I just try not to do the same just to see what else I can do different. Yeah, okay. All right. Now on this one, you're gonna, everything's going to be curled, right? Yeah. By the time we're all done? Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Now, let me tell me, tell me this. What was it like the first time? Because I know when we were talking to Mrs. Livesey, she talked about you have mannequins, and then, of course, you have clients yeah. come in. What was it like the first time for you when you had to go work with a client? I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> because you never know what the client is going to expect from you. Mm -hmm. So you just have to like talk to them the whole time. And then pretty by the time you get done with the client, you be like, oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. But you just have to try your hardest and keep talking to the client as you're working. Okay. So then it won't be awkward. Is there anything specifically you talk about? I know like at the barber shops, we talk about uh, politics, sports, and some of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. What about for the women? What do you what do you guys talk about generally? Talk about the nails, different types of different color to get. Okay. You no, know, talk about the weather outside and you know stuff like that. So having good people skills is is pretty important yeah, too, isn't it? To be able to com communicate. Mm-hmm. What about the biology and the chemistry and all of that? Yeah, kind you of have stuff? to know everything. Do you? Yeah, especially for when you go to get your state boards, you got to know. Sure. 
and I can imagine uh, that's going to be a little nerve-wracking for you when yes. you get ready for that, right? How much preparation is it for you to get ready for those state boards? Mm -hmm. Well, we did mock boards here, mm -hmm. so that w I passed that. So it's like the same thing. We're just having a trial base to go through it all. That's great. Well, this is, uh, you're looking great. Liz, you're looking great. <laughs> Thank you. Daisha, you're doing a great job and I uh, really appreciate taking a few minutes just to show us uh, some of the things that you do <laughs> here at the Cosmetology College and, and um, in this uh, Academy of Style here yeah. uh, for St. Clair Tech. This is great. And a little while ago, we had an opportunity to also talk to a former student, Kim Erickson. So let's uh, listen to hear what Kim had to say about her experience here at the Academy of Style. I am now, right now, working at Chameleon Salon. I've been at a couple, you know, throughout time. Um, I finally found one that I feel, you know, I really like. Doing hair since I was a little girl, you know, and that was something I really, really wanted. And I think if you really, really want it, you can do it. But if not, don't waste, you know what I mean? Don't waste the time because there's so many people that want this program, you know. Lots of, you know, hair cutting, um, different kind, how to apply color, um, how to kind of look at somebody's face and say, hey, this is going to look good on them. Um, perming, um, curling, um, all kinds of stuff, you know, how to be a better person, really. I mean, you learn business ways, you learn all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, I really, I love doing hair. I mean, it was color and cutting. That was the, my big thing, you know. I was always all about that. And like I said, I was a little girl. I was cutting off my Barbie doll's hair. I was getting in trouble, you know. So, um, yeah, it's just been something I have always wanted to do. You had to talk to people while you're doing, you know, it's not just doing stuff on your own. It's actually having to talk and, you know, go through things with people, you know. And that's the hard part is actually you got to do a good job at the same time here in a conversation, you know, so. I tell it was a fabulous program. Um, make sure that's what you want, because I know there even the cosmetology program is just one of the programs at Tech, you know what I mean? So you need to make sure what, you know, hey, I want to do this because it brightens, you know, your whole future, you know what I mean? It really does. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Technically Speaking as we celebrate 35 years of St. Clair Tech. We hope you've enjoyed this look into the cosmetology program and we'd like to thank the instructor Joyce Livesey and the students who participated. To learn more about the cosmetology program or all of the programs offered at Tech, we encourage you to visit our website at sctech.org. Hope to see you next time on Technically Speaking.